Hello everybody, welcome to Coco's Crochet. I'm Litsa and today is our episode 4 of our yarn of the month. Now every month I come on and I share my um, experience with a new yarn that I may not have tried before or that I may have tried and I'm trying to discover new ways to use it. Sometimes these are yarns that are new to you as well or you might be able to find something similar in your part of the world because as you know I live here in Sydney Australia and we sometimes have different yarns available to us more readily than some of the yarns that you may have either in the UK, the US or other parts of the world. Um, so I just thought that this would be a fun little series so that we can compare um, the yarns that we use and also see what's available to us and you know how it behaves is it worth buying when it's on sale because I have been known in the past to just jump in on a sale and not ever having experience using a yarn uh, uh, that's on sale and then I discover that I either love it or struggle to use it and I do have some um, embarrassed to say or sad to say sitting in my stash that I've yet to play with because I've never bought it before and you know it's just been sitting there because I bought it on sale but I endeavor through this little series to actually try all of the yarns in my stash and some of you also have it in your stash and you um, you know join along and if not, you might have experienced different ways of using it, which I love to hear always in the comments or via email. And if you yourself are going to use the next yarn of the month and you have it sitting in your stash, please send along photos and your experience with it as well, because I love sharing that with all of you, because sometimes we have different experiences and that's just the nature of how life is, you know one yarn that I might love might not be something that you enjoy using and vice versa so it's always nice to hear what other people think so that's predominantly why I started this little mini series yarn of the month to bring different yarns um, to the highlight every month and then we get to see how we can use them and if there's something that we want to use because some people prefer different textures or different um, yarn content so that's another thing that's very important, you know, to know what is in these yarns. So last month, you might remember that we ended with this yarn being yarn of the month for August. And it is this beautiful velvet yarn. Now, I absolutely love this colorway. So you won't see it in any of my makes today because I have earmarked this for something else. So it suffice to say right at the front that I do love this yarn so let me tell you a little bit about it i have made a little swatch for you as well i'll show you what i made with it and then we're going to talk about what next month's yarn will be because it's always very exciting to find out what yarn of the month will be for the next month so let me just pop my clipboard down now this yarn as i showed you and i'll read off some stats while I show you this one here so basically this yarn is 100% polyester um, it comes in 100 gram balls and 105 meters it recommends to use a five millimeter hook now I did use a five millimeter hook for the swatch that I made to share with you but I also have used six millimeter and seven millimeter hooks with this yarn and I'll show you what the outcome is now it does say to cool wash and do not tumble dry, do not iron and do not bleach. Well, I guess that, you know, anyone that's worked with any yarns like this in the past would know that. Um, but to feel if you've never felt velvet yarn, it is absolutely gorgeous. It is so soft to the touch and very, very enjoyable to work with. This yarn might put some people off because it actually looks a little bit lumpy and bumpy. Like it's not sm like it's not smooth. As you can see from here, it's a little bit textured. But when you start crocheting with it, somehow it just, it's almost like it's self-healing. It sits um, with itself and it just becomes one beautiful smooth fabric, which is something that I really enjoyed about it. Now, um, I have discovered while I'm working with it, that it's not just for blankets because when I first started to crochet with it a couple of years ago that's all I thought that it was good for and I actually have a tote sitting there full of a variety of the colors waiting to make a couple of blankets so this was actually really good for me to experiment 
not only to you know show you how you know how to use it well not how to use it but what it's um you can apply it to but it actually brought to light for me things other than just blankets so let me show you the little swatch that i made here it is here guys now you can hardly see from this that there is a variety of stitches here right now i'm talking in us terminology so basically i've done two rows of the single crochet two half double two double then i attempted to make some popcorn stitches and then again i finished off with some doubles and singles so i can show you how it frogs now anyone that's worked with velvet yarn or blanket yarn for that matter so the polyester type yarns you would already be familiar that the simpler the stitch the better it is for these types of yarns because look at the fabric like there's the back you can hardly tell that there's any different stitches in there right and that's absolutely fine so where i'm going with that is that i wouldn't actually attempt to use these um these types of yarns for stitch definition so if you're trying to experiment with a new stitch like i love for example the cross stitch you know the lemon peel stitch uh waffle stitch although that one might work because it is um what is it back post and front post that you use in that but if you some, want a yarn to have uh, stitch definition, I need to get my words out, this is not the yarn. But if you want something that creates a beautifully soft textured fabric, it is absolutely gorgeous for that. And let me tell you, it glides off your hook. I have made this um, little swatch using my 5mm hook as recommended on the ball band. And let me tell you, you'll have no issue frogging it so let me just show you here how simple and how smooth it is i really is velvety smooth guys so if you do make a little mistake fear not because you'll be able to frog it very easily now if you are a first time crocheter and you think oh my goodness i absolutely want to use this yarn i would suggest that maybe like i'm talking about an absolute beginner i would suggest that you either start with a simple project or wait until you've made a couple of projects using acrylic because sometimes especially when it's a variegated yarn it does come in different colors and i'll show you the ones i've got maybe a plain color because sometimes the stitches when they're like this velvety soft they actually just form into themselves i never know how to explain it but it's a little bit trickier to actually see these stitches than it would be if you were using a different type of yarn but if you're you know by you know a beginner as in not ex like first project or second project you would definitely be able to use it and the great thing is that you actually can feel your stitches as you go along so it is a beautiful beautiful yarn to work with but when i first started crocheting this yarn with this yarn i actually only used it for corner to corner blankets and i will show you the blanket that i made it is very very much loved by my son it is his blanket so i've brought it upstairs from his bedroom for now but i will show you the other colors that um, are available to us this is a beautiful blue mix i don't actually have the color with me i apology apologize for that but it's got the beautiful light blue dark blue like the navy this beautiful like tealy color and some gray in there absolutely love that colorway this is my absolute favorite one which is the purples i think it says lilac mix something like that iris mix this one is and then you've got this one here which is like a natural the natural colors and i think they call it camel let me get my glasses on which is very strange to me earth now that's a good name for this one right and look at the gorgeous browns and grays in there absolutely love this one and um i've also bought it in the past in the grays and i'll show you that in the blanket um black and white so there might be a few more colorways available to us but at this stage i have so many in my home in the earth and the iris mix i absolutely love this and i can't wait to make something with them other than possibly a blanket or maybe a blanket and something else so they're the things that you know you can apply them to 
at the very least. I've got a few examples here to show you. And then I also thought you could apply it to things like scrunchies. It would make beautiful, beautiful scrunchies. Absolutely can say that, you know, quite confidently, although I don't have one to show you today. Now, this is the blanket that I made for my son and it has been washed and hung out to dry and put back on the bed many times. And it's just a simple corner to corner blanket. But let me tell you, it is so very much loved. Now, I, when I made this, I also made like this um, block stitch border. And this was made using a seven millimeter hook. And it is a beautiful size blanket here. I don't know if you can see it there. Oh my goodness. Now these do become a little bit weighty because in something like, like weighted blankets, so if you like a blanket that's not super, um, you know, what is it like it doesn't weigh very much at all um, but super soft super cozy and very very warm and you actually feel that it's on you rather than just you know it's like a sheet almost this is a great blanket for you so it's a little bit weighted because in a project like this I probably used from memory around 14 balls now each ball costs around five dollars before it's on sale five dollars or five dollars fifty but i have been able to purchase it in the past for almost half price and it is a really good time to jump on board if you have that opportunity so i'll pop this blanket over here this very much loved blanket which i love that about it now, the other thing that I made, of course, I had to see if I could make a beanie with it because like I said, I've only ever, ever made blankets with it. And now to my surprise, this beanie is a little bit bigger than what I usually make. But look at that. You can actually see the posts. This is the divine beanie, which I'm actually absolutely addicted to. And look at that gorgeous color pooling. Isn't that awesome? Now, I might pop it on my head later, but it is a bit longer than usual, guys. But I'm sure I'll find someone that will cherish that. So, again, another beautiful, beautiful project to make with this yarn. And then I thought, I wonder if it would be nice for plushies. One would assume so, because I have used different velvet yarn for plushies before. And I always wanted to make a little key ring. So I made this little octo here. And I've just attached it to a key ring. Now, because of the colour, you can't see. But it's actually got two little eyes as well. Now, this pattern is by, and I have written it down for you because she's got a beautiful channel. I've only just discovered this channel. And it's this is the Mini Octo key ring, No So. And it is by Joanna Martinez. And this one I used a 5mm hook for. A couple of little safety eyes and some stuffing and this actually crochets up so very very quickly and again very very simple to do using this yarn because your hook glides through it once again because it's all single crochet i wouldn't maybe have it as your first project but if you're confident enough to give it a go why not guys who am i to tell you what you should or shouldn't make as your first project because let's be real when I first started I did attempt a few things out of my um, you know expertise and yet I still managed somehow so that's something else you can make definitely make plushies with it or amigurumi and then of course I've been making the marble fidget, fidget toys and this is absolutely perfect for it. The feel is amazing. All there is is a little marble in here. And this pattern is by our friend Jenny over at In My Spare Time Crochet. So I'll pop those um, down in the description box as well. Look at that fibers flying around now. So these are the projects that I managed to make to present to you and to surprise myself because. I know I've said it now at least three times. I only ever thought when I looked at this yarn, blankets. And now to my surprise, very pleasant surprise, I can actually apply it to so many things. So would I buy this yarn again? Definitely, without a doubt, 100%. And I hope that I do come across it on sale because right now I'm thinking of so many things that I can use what I have in my tote over there that I may not just make the two blankets that I had, um, you know, put it to the side for. Now, the other good thing is that you could probably team this up with other velvet yarn that you have, even though the range of colours is, uh, from what I can remember, limited. Maybe, possibly one, two, three, four of the variegated and definitely the black and the white in the um, solid colours. 
from memory I don't remember them being many more but in saying that who knows you know maybe my big W which is where I purchase mine and also the reject shop here in um, Australia has it as well so keep a look out for it guys if it pops up and you haven't used this yarn before I highly highly recommend it I would probably go as far as to say 10 out of 10 because you can actually apply it to so many different projects which I absolutely love it loves the um, metal hooks just glides off them and it has no issue at all when you use the like the seven millimeter is a plastic hook at the end and it does it does a beautiful job with it so that's it guys yarn of the month episode four already oh my goodness we've just done that one so we can tick that one off the list that we know what that yarn is all about and now we need to get on to yarn of the month episode five what are we going to be using guys well I did look around my yarn room for the last, well, I have been actually thinking about this for the last couple of weeks, and there is so much variety in here, but I just thought I'd use a yarn that I've had been sitting in my stash for maybe a year and a half or longer, which I actually bought in millions. And I was also very lucky to be gifted two balls by our beautiful friend, Fran. So thank you once again, Fran. So I thought I would do it justice by actually applying some time to it. And I'm talking about the Peyton's Sierra yarn. So this is actually a beautiful, beautiful yarn. I have these two gorgeous colours here. But I also have, as I said, millions possibly three bags which is quite a lot of this yarn and I thought why have I got it sitting there it's time to let it shine so this is the yarn that I'll be highlighting or showcasing for you for yarn of the month in September so please come back in a month's time and see what I've been up to with this Sierra yarn I hope it's something fabulous because I do have a couple of ideas in my mind I just hope that I can get them done in time. So fingers and toes crossed, guys. So I hope you're all keeping well. If you've played with a Sierra yarn and you'd like to share with us, please do so. And I will make sure that I let everybody know what your thoughts and experiences were as well for our next um, episode, episode five. Oh, my goodness. And as for today, thank you so much for joining me. I hope, you know, like I said, this yarn has inspired you to either make something using velvet yarn if you can't get this particular one or if you do have this one in your stash sitting there like some of us do with many yarns and it's time to get it out and enjoy playing with it so until i see you all very very soon take care everyone bye bye for now